Hello. I know that I'm a little bit late for the party, you know. Survivor Series was on Saturday, today is Tuesday. My time, Raw is out, but I haven't watched it because I kind of wanted to do this video before Raw is out or before I even watched Raw. So, without any more time lost, was that correct? I'm not sure, but you understood me. Let's just jump into it. The first match we saw at Survivor Series War Games 2023 was the Women's War Games match. You know the drill, Team Bianca versus Damage Control, and it was awesome. It was amazing match. Like the match was started by I don't I don't remember who started the match, but it was awesome, especially the moment when Io Sky went to the top of the cage and went down with the trash can on her head. Amazing. Also, my prediction was not true because the baby faces won, aka Team Bianca. No major returns, no major twists. I was saying in my SmackDown review that Becky and Charlotte will cause this match, but in the end, the thing that happened was they just fixed everything. They just made everything work and even in the press conference they seemed happy and all of that stuff so we'll see what will happen from here. The next match we saw was Dragon Lee versus Santos Escobar and it was a good ass Lucha Libre match. I freaking loved it and as I said in my prediction Santos Escobar won which will set him to an amazing heel run properly. But the problem that I see was that Carlito could take the L more than Dragon Lee could. Like, Dragon Lee just made his debut match. But anyway, I'm not mad. Like, I was expecting Santos Escobar to win. And I want to see what will Santos Escobar say next Friday. The next match. For the Intercontinental Championship, Gunther versus The Miz. The Miz gave everything, and at one point in the match, I even thought that he's gonna win. At some point of the match, he just low blowed Gunther, I think two times even. And I was like, oh my god, he's gonna win, he's gonna win, he's gonna win. But he didn't, he didn't. Gunther managed to get himself up uh, and beat The Miz and uh, retain the Intercontinental Championship. So, in my book, one more victory. Because my prediction was true, you know? You know? Uh, after that, Rhea Ripley versus Zoe Stark for the Women's World Title. And uh, as I predicted, Rhea won. But Zoe put on hell on a fight. I couldn't ask for anything else. Zoe Stark just debuted and when she was under Trish we barely saw her wrestle she barely was able to cut any promos but now she's a top tier talent I don't know if she's still gonna be in the main event picture but she belongs there you know I am a fan of Zoe Stark not only to her music you know and also my prediction was true I don't know if I mentioned that just saying just saying my prediction was true last but not least men's war games match until the start of the match no one knew if randy orton is gonna come out or not even when the match started randy orton was not there but there were five v4 in the ring judgment day everyone in the ring the good guys were everyone except randy orton was in the ring and the Judgment Day thought, Randy Orton is not gonna come back. Randy Orton is not coming to help them. And so we hear the Rhea Ripley music coming out with the Damien Priest briefcase. And she was about to cash in Damien Priest's briefcase because the advantage is in the cage already. And basically the Priest was about to win the title and everything was about to be perfect. But I hear voices! And Randy Orton came out, ripped, jacked, looking better than ever by the way at the end of everything he was like 10 more years so oh my god i was i will be around 40 years old whenever that guy retires god bless him yeah randy orton came out it was 5v5 it was amazing 
we saw vintage Orton, we saw RKO, we saw the amazing RKO that was given to JD McDonough and the good guys won, as I predicted, the good guys won and do you know also what happened? Michael Cole was ending the show and we hear Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, guys, I was screaming on the top of my lungs. CM Punk is back, oh my god. And the reason I wanted to do this video before Raw is now on Raw he already said something and Randy said something and it, it is a bonkers Raw and I can't wait to end this video to or see Raw. So all I'm gonna say is that my prediction was true. Survivor Series was 10 out of 10. This is the first 10 out of 10 I'm giving to this channel. I understand now why Survivor Series is one of the four best PLEs and all I'm gonna say is thank you guys so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Peace!